In this video, we'll look at whether wood or paper burning is a chemical or a physical change. So we have this chart here to help us. When we think about wood burning, one of the big questions we need to ask ourselves is, do we end up with a different substance, a different arrangement of atoms? And if you think about it, when you start with wood, you end up with something very different. So a new substance is formed and it's very difficult to reverse. You can't easily change the products of the chemical reaction of the burning back into wood. You could over time have a tree grow through a set of pretty complex chemical reactions to make wood again, but it's difficult to reverse. We can see that a new substance is formed in the chemical reaction here. This is cellulose, a component of wood and paper. We add oxygen, maybe give it a spark from a match. And when the reaction takes place, instead of cellulose and oxygen here, we have carbon dioxide in water. So definitely a new substance is formed. That makes wood or paper burning a chemical change. And with a chemical change, we would expect a change in temperature, probably in color. There'd be a very noticeable reaction taking place. And often we'll have a formation of a precipitate or a bubbles. But here, since we start out with a solid, we won't have these with burning wood. Note that some of these things are the same for both chemical and physical changes. When we have a chemical change, physical changes often take place. Key ideas though, new substance formed, difficult to reverse. So to summarize, wood or paper burning is a chemical change. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.